Hello everyone and welcome to another episode in Planet Zoo. We have tons of very talented artists on the STEAM workshop making us all some really nice blueprints. Let's take a look at a few. We have two pistas here made by Mr. Gutu. They call this first one Climbing Area for Primates number two. You can bring this into your zoo for right around 10,000. And then we have a small habitat for koalas and you can bring that into your zoo for right around 21,000. Thank you so much, Mr. Guito, for sharing these two very nice pieces with us. We have two pieces here made by Wiser. This first one is called a Trash Garunda, and you can bring that into your zoo for right around $22,000. And then we have fish and birds from the Amazon. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $7,000. Thank you so much, Wiser, for bringing us these two really nice pieces that we can use in our zoo. We have two pieces here made by Charlie Mij. It's called a Georgian Country House. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $69,000. And then we have the Georgian House Accessory Pack. And you can bring this into your zoo for right around 39,000. Thank you so much, Charlie Minge, for sharing with us on the STEAM Workshop. There is so much work here, and it is absolutely done very cleanly and very beautiful. Thank you. We have two pieces here, both made by Gacha Tama. They call this first one Themed Heaters. I also found it under Varied Heaters. You can bring this into your zoo for right around 5000 
And then we have a neon gulpy sign for right around $500. Thank you so much, Gotcha Tama, for posting on the Steam Workshop and sharing this very creative work with us. We have four pieces here, all done by Uncreativer Zopt. They call this first one Hacks and Haws, Hansel and Gretel. You could bring this into your zoo for right around $66,000. And then we have a snowman. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $400. And then we have another snowman. You can bring this one into your zoo for right around 1,000. And last but not least, we have Santa Claus. You can bring this into your zoo for right around 4,000. Thank you so much, Uncreativer, for posting on the Steam Workshop. What great work you've done here. Our next piece is made by Otticus. They call this Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. You can read this into your zoo for right around $12,500. What an absolutely adorable piece. Thank you so much, Otticus, for sharing with us on the Steam Workshop. Our next piece was made by Kate Rosebud. They call this Ice Queen Castle Tunnel Scenery Entrance. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $15,000. A truly beautiful piece. Thank you so much, Kate Rosebud, for sharing with us. We have a piece here by Clemens. They call these etched glass panel stands. You can bring them into your zoo for right around $400. Thank you so much, Clemens, for sharing with us. We have a nice little mosaic here made by Slady. They call this Happy Tarper Mosaic. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $8,000. Thank you so much, Slady, for sharing this very, very nice mosaic with us. Our next piece was made by Philip Myers. They called this spa and hotel. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $213,000.
Thank you so much, Philip Myers, for sharing with us. I would love to come and stay at this little motel spa for just, you know, a couple days. That'd be nice. Our next two pieces were made by Emmer, and they called this first one Ice Mage Hand Landscape. You could bring this into your zoo for right around 2000. And then we have Magic Waters. We also found it underwater magic. You could bring this into your zoo for right around $62,000. Thank you so much, Merwai, M8 AM, for posting on the Steam Workshop and sharing these two very unique pieces with us. Our next piece was made by Beam Me Up. They called this Snow White's Cottage, and you can bring this into your zoo for right around $31,000. What a very nice habitat you've made here, Beam Me Up. Thank you so much for sharing with the community. Our next piece was made by Hobblecoss. They call this Medieval Stone Castle. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $121,000. What a truly epic build here. Thank you so much, Hobblecoss. Our next piece was made by Sapphire Green. They call this compilation of fence decoration. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $6,000. Thank you so much, Sapphire Green, for sharing these very nice offense ideas with us. Our next piece was made by Emily. They call this Custom Owls. You can bring them into your zoo for right around $6,000. Thank you so much for sharing these owls with us. Our next two pieces were made by Drake. They called this Drake's Bird of the World. You can bring this into your zoo for right around 5,000. And then we have Drake's Birds of the World part two and you can bring this into your zoo for right around 10.5,000. Drake also has another Birds of the World on his Steam Workshop page that you might want to go ahead and visit. Thank you so much, Drake, for sharing with us. We have a very beautiful flower mosaic here made by Liv. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $21,000. 
Thank you so much, Liv, for posting on the Steam Workshop and sharing this very, very beautiful mosaic with us. Our next piece was made by Alicia Radishin. They call this decorative seating. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $1.2,000. Thank you so much, Alicia, and for sharing this very, very creative seating area with us. Our next piece is called Australian Lake and it was made by Lara Bella. You could bring this into your zoo for right around $9,000. What a very beautiful piece, Lara Bella. Thank you so much for sharing with us. Our next piece was made by YT Peachy. They call this a Jaguar Habitat, and you can bring this into your zoo for right around $11,000. Thank you so much, Peachy, for sharing this Jaguar Habitat with us on the Steam Workshop. Our next piece was made by Gintac. They call this the Green Roof Food Court. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $26,000. Thank you so much, Gintac, for bringing us this very nice outdoor food court to the Steam Workshop and sharing with us. Our next piece was made by Peter. They call this Jungle House, and you can bring this into your zoo for right around What a very beautiful piece you've done here. Thank you so much, Peter, for sharing with us on the Steam Workshop. Our next piece was made by Big Wild O. They called this Villa with Shops and Planetarium and Habitat Area. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $123,000.
What a very nice job you've done here, Big Wild O. There's so much detail work done here. Thank you so much for sharing it with us. Our next piece was made by Elmo. I found it under food court water feature and also the indoor water feature. You can bring this into your zoo for right around 3.5 thousand. Thank you so much, Elmo, for sharing this water feature with us. Our last two pieces were made by FF Romy. They called this first one the Cozy Viking Souvenir Shop. You can bring this into your zoo for right around $6,500. And then we have the Killer Viking Meat Hut. And you can bring that into your zoo for right around $12,000. Thank you so much, FF Romy, for giving us some Viking builds. A great big thank you to all of our wonderful artists that are creating blueprints on the Steam Workshop. We so appreciate it very much. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. I love hearing from all of you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you might want to consider doing that so you can be here for next week's episode. We will see you all then. You take care.